we've been teaching out of the book of Exodus. And uh, we uh, have been learning about the plagues of Egypt and Moses' life. And we're up to chapter 9. We just finished talking about lice and flies and all kinds of great stuff. And those of you who like the Sunday School lessons, they are on YouTube and uh, Google. Just look up James Grissom or PCGD and they'll all come up. The ones that he's posted out there. Okay, let's get started with this next play. The uh, chapter 9. Starting with verse 1. Then the Lord said unto Moses, Go in unto Pharaoh and tell him, Thus saith the Lord God of the Hebrews, Let my people go, that they may serve me. For if thou refuse to let them go, and wilt hold them still. For behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thy cattle, which is in the field. And upon the horses and upon the asses and upon the camels and upon the oxen and upon the sheep there shall be a very grievous murrain. And the Lord shall sever between the cattle of Israel and the cattle of Egypt. And there shall nothing die of all that is in the children of Israel. And the Lord appointed a set time saying, Tomorrow the Lord shall do this thing in the land. And the Lord did that thing on the morrow and all the cattle of Egypt died. But the cattle of the children of Israel died, not one. The Pharaoh sent, and behold, there was not one of the cattle of the Israel dead. And the heart of Pharaoh was hardened, and he did not let the people go. Okay. So then here's, here's the, uh, the, the, uh, the plague that's going to happen. And, and I think Dale's going to have some slides for me in just a second. Uh, first of all, let's look back at the scripture here. Uh, there was a word here that I didn't know what it meant. A uh, moraine. And that was what the King James said. And uh, your version probably says something different if you're reading out of a different version. Because we don't use that word moraine very often. But the, uh, the Hebrew word is deber, D-E-B-E-R. And it means a pestilence or a plague. The root word of that word deber is to destroy. Now, uh, what was going to be destroyed? It said here in verse 3, cattle. What else? All livestock. The word cattle is mikna. Mikna. It means the property, the stock that is owned by someone. So the Egyptians own cattle. Believe me, you know that the Egyptians own cattle, but also the Hebrew people own cattle. That's how they fed each other. You know, that's what they fed on. Cattle, horses. The word horses uh, was was what we would what. No, no translation on that. I mean, it's sus is the word, but it, but it just means a horse. The asses, uh, or hamar, the, the root word on that one is uh, befoul or trouble. You know how you know how an ass acts; they're stubborn, right? And uh, then also the camels. The word camel in, in Hebrew is gamal, and it means labor bearing. And then the word oxen. Uh, oxen is. It is a uh, bagar, B-A-G-A-R, and it means a plowing animal. It can be a cow or it can be an ox, okay? And then we also have the sheeps, which is son, S-O-N, and that's, of course, lambs. And also in verse 4, it says that, uh, that all the cattle of the Israelites wouldn't be touched by this plague. Now, Dale, are you having any luck with my, with my uh, pictures? Okay. Now, God appointed a set time. This word set time is moed. Now, I, I did a, a long study on the moeds. Now, moeds, what that means in Hebrew, that's a, that's a Hebrew word, which means a set time or a feast or a place of meeting. Now, the moeds in the Old Testament were, were the Feast of Tabernacles, the, the Feast of Passover. We're fixing to study Passover real soon. And Passover will be uh, when, when the, in fact, it follows it follows one of the one of the plagues that's going to happen. Now, uh, the Moeds fall on certain days of the year, and that's what the Hebrew people still studying today. And I did a, a long study on the calendars. There are so many calendars; there's, you don't know what day it is. I'm telling you, no calendars are correct. 
Because, you know, we lost the Mayan calendar. The, the end of the world already happened, right? <laughs> you know? So, you can't go by the calendars. Okay, here we go. This is, these, are, these are cattle that are, that are sick. You can see how they're, 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 uh, they're very sick. And this is what they call a murrain. The next, the next slide really tells you what, it, what happens to the Egyptian cows. Aww. Okay, here we go. We're going to go out and get our, get our cow. And those cows are all dead and they're shriveled up like that. That's a murrain. That's a, that's a plague. And uh, every cow was affected by this. And I was talking to one of my friends at work that used to be in, in ag in, in, in high school. And he was telling me about how many, how many diseases a cow can get, you know. And it'd be amazing that all the cows over there die, but the ones right over here don't. That's a miracle yes, when it, it comes to plague. Because you've got to do something to keep the cows from, from having the plague. And all, all, you know, God kept his people, his people's cows, from having any kind of sickness whatsoever. And uh, so this kind of angered, this kind of angered uh, Pharaoh, because when he come out and he seen, he sent his people over there to look at the, the how come those people over there have cows and we don't? How come they, they have all this livestock, these lambs are still alive, and we don't have any? They're all dead. He hardened his heart again. But you know, who, who hardened uh, Pharaoh's heart? God. God uh, uh, hardened his heart. Because, and the reason he did harden his heart was because of the gods of Egypt. The gods of Egypt were, were uh, they worshipped all kinds of gods. And we've already been through some of them. And as we do these studies, I'm going to show you a, a, a lot of different gods in the future uh, in, these, in these readings. Alright, let's continue on. So here, he that, that was one of the plagues. The next plague is the plague of boils. Now, oh, uh, man. it starts in verse 8. It just went from one right next to the next one. Because... It, uh, they, Pharaoh was was hardening his heart, and the Egyptian people were prepared uh, were being prepared to to uh, to receive the Lord. Believe it or not, you know. Okay, verse eight says, "And the Lord said unto Moses and unto Aaron, Take you handfuls of ashes of the furnace, and let Moses sprinkle it toward the heaven in the sight of Pharaoh, and it shall become small dust in all the land of Egypt." And shall be a boil breaking forth with blains upon man and upon beast throughout all the land of Egypt. And they took the ashes of the furnace and stood before Pharaoh. And Moses sprinkled it up toward heaven. And it became a boil breaking forth with blains upon man and upon beast. And the magicians could not stand before Moses because of the boils. For the boil was upon the magicians and upon all the Egyptians. And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh... And he hearkened not unto them, as the Lord had spoken unto Moses. Now let's stop right there. Here we go. A plague of boils. Could you imagine having boils on all of your entire body? <laughs> Just one of them is bad. And they took the, the, the dust and threw it up in the air, and the dust became a powder, and it began to cover things. Say so they took the dust of the furnace, of the metalwork. That's what the, the word furnace here is uh, kib, kibshan, K-I-B-S-H-A-N. And it means a furnace for metalwork, and it has soot in it from the kiln. They took the soot, and this kiln, this, is a, is, this was the symbol of wealth and industry that would come against uh, Israel. That, you know... Pharaoh was saying, I'm more powerful, I have more weapons, I, can, I, I have kilns for making chariots, wheels, and for making, making uh, uh, weapons of warfare, and uh, you, th this is not going to bother me. Now, of course, it's going to bother him after a while. Boils is not a very good thing. Now, here it says that there were boils. The, the word boil is shehen, and it means burning inflammation or an ulcer. It says it broke forth. It spread with blains. Blains, uh, the Hebrew word is abba, uh, abba buat. It means inflammatory pus eruptions. Pretty bad stuff. Inflammatory pus eruptions all over your body. And who was affected by these boils? Every man and every beast. You know, they, they worship the jackal also. They worship the dog. There. They worship everything there. I mean, it's it's horrible. And God was trying to 
to touch them and to reach the, the Hebrew people, the, the, the Egyptian people in, in, these, in these plagues. Now, why couldn't the magicians do something this time? Because they were covered in boils. They couldn't even walk or stand up because they had these boils all over their body. You know, that's, that's a bad, that's, that's really, really, really bad. I mean, and I thought this picture here I found was a really interesting one, even though it's from a comic book somewhere. Um, all right. So we've gotten that far. Think about that. That's, that's incredible. If you really, I mean, if you just stop and think about it, has anybody ever had a boil? A boil. One just, boil. Just one, one boil. I mean, how, how uncomfortable they are. And then to have them all over your body. I know that a lot of us, uh, when we were younger, or some of us are still young, acne is it can be a problem. And you know how that is? How do you like to have acne all over your body? You know, that's what a boil is, kind of like, you know? But these were festering boils, ulcers, inflammation, burning. Yeah, yes. And, they, and it was so bad that they couldn't even stand up. These magicians couldn't even stand up. So they're walking around like this, you know? <laughs> Ouch. You know? I believe it is. I believe Blaine's is a, a, a disease that cattle get, and it's a ulcering, festering sore on the on the animal. So these the, these diseases. First, we have the, the the cattle buying, and then we have every animal that's left getting boils. Okay, so that includes the little rabbits and everything else that's around. You know. Okay. But I thought about their their dogs that they worshipped in the, in the temples. You know, the jackals being covered with with these uh, these boils. And again, Pharaoh hardened his heart, just as the Lord has said. And that brings us to the next the next plague. And I know I'm moving right along very fast. It's okay though. Let's go to verse 22. Skip down to verse 22. This is a plague of hail and fire. The Lord said unto Moses, Stretch forth thine hand toward heaven, that there may be hail in all the land of Egypt, and upon man, and upon beast, and upon every herb of the field, throughout the land of Egypt. And Moses stretched forth his rod toward heaven, and the Lord sent thunder and hail, and the fire ran along the ground, and the Lord rained hail upon the land of Egypt. And so there was hail and fire mingled with hail, very grievous, such as there was none like it in all the land of Egypt since it became a nation. Now I'm going to read some more on that in just a second. Uh, hailstones. First, first, the livestock was stricken by disease. Then they got boils and running sores. Now they're bashed by hail and thunder and lightning and fire. And all their crops are being destroyed. So uh, if you would, go ahead and cue up that next, next one for me, Dale. Uh, first of all, thunder. The word thunder in, in Hebrew is gall, G-O-L. It's a loud noise that shakes the earth. Hail is barad and fire is esh, burning fiery hot. I also want to note, I also want to point forth that no prayer from Moses was given during this one. He just did what God told him. Sometimes we don't need to pray. We need to listen and do what God has told us to do. How many people in here like lightning? I like to look at it, but I'm an electrician. I know what lightning can do to you. Oh, well, if you get struck by it. Have you ever seen a tree struck by lightning? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We just read that this, this fire, hail, and fire from heaven came down and ran along the ground. You know, lightning comes from the ground because that's what it is. It's, 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 uh, it's uh, static charges that discharge from the earth up.